Crafting in your hideout creates profits that can supplement your raids, it'll boost bonuses as you level up your skills, and it'll give you access to ammo you can't always buy, among many other bonuses that you get out of the hideout. This video is gonna be entirely about profits. I'm gonna show you how to make as much money as possible with as little work and time as possible in your hideout. So you can get back into raid, and while you're doing that, your hideout's just generating free profits for you. I do these videos in profit per hour. So every craft I look at, you can get them apples to apples when you look at how many rubles over time it generates. I also don't account for fuel. First off, it's not really, the cost isn't enough to matter. If you're crafting for profits, you're going to more than craft enough money to cover your fuel cost. On top of that, it's too sporadic. It's too different from person to person. Some people it's gonna be one and a half, 2K an hour. Some people it's gonna be five, 6K an hour. It just depends on how you get your fuel, what fuel you use. If you craft with your empty fuel tanks, all of that stuff just makes it pointless to try and talk about fuel cost. All of these calculations are also shown without the level three Intel Center bonus for a uh, flea market fee. So that 30 or 40%, depending on your, your level of your hideout management, that isn't counted here. So if you have the level three Intel Center, you're going to make even more money than the numbers we're showing here. And then lastly, quick note, um, if you're trying to level up your crafting skill, make sure you alternate your crafts. You can't do the same craft over and over. You gotta switch back and forth in each module. So with all that out of the way, let's jump right in uh, into the med station and figure out what uh, what we, what you need to craft there to make the most money. So right now in the med station, the most profitable craft is the SJ6. You're gonna make somewhere around 16K an hour with this craft, which is about 23K on each craft. To do this, you need your SJ1s at 31K, your Knackles at 15K, and your pile of meds for 9K or less. After you craft the SJ6s, shoot for 48K or more, and you're gonna be rolling in dough. Now as an alternate to this, uh, for alternating your crafts, or if you can't craft SJ6s for whatever reason, uh, pile of meds, just always crank those out. Try to get your augment in for 10K, but anything less than 12 will work. The other comps are mostly vendor bot, though you can get your cheeses a little bit cheaper, the AI2s uh, from the, the flea market. And then try to sell the pile of meds for 10, five or more uh, in, in big stacks. It helps to sell them if you sell them in larger stacks when people are buying them. Now you're gonna be able to make more money with this as augmenting gets more expensive uh, because pile of meds chases sugar and then the augmented will chase the pile of meds. So pushing for 12.5 or 13.5, just get whatever you can get out of them and you should do pretty good. Now, if you only got level one, you can actually make money with AI2s. It's only about 6K an hour or 2K per craft. But if you're making these with pile of meds you find in raid or ones that you buy off the flea market, you buy, you buy a pile of meds for like eight, nine, maybe 10K, and then you're selling the uh, AI2s for at least 4,000 rubles and you'll, you'll make a little bit of money. And while it's work and it's not that much money, it does help level up your crafting and hideout management, so it is important. Now, lastly, one little trick is with Tropitals that I do, um, and this'll make you, if you follow what I'm talking about and you look at it the way I do, it'll make you about 83K per craft. I use up my golden stars till they get to one or two uses, and then I turn those into Propitals. You can do the same thing with Ibuprofen if you want to and, and maximize your profit even more, um, but I hate Ibuprofens because the hydration hit. So if you're using those up, you don't count the cost in the craft because they're being used as your med. You craft your propitals using those used up material, almost used up materials. And then you sell your propitals for like 21, 21, five. And it basically pays for the med that you used. And that's kind of how it works. I'll sell my propitals and I'll use that to buy another, uh, another golden starter run. Now, one thing I'll talk about in all these modules as well, where that's, where we can, is long crafts. And these are the crafts you should do when you're getting off for the night um, or the day or whatever it is, when you're not gonna be around for a while. That way you get that longest craft possible, to help with your hideout skills and get the most bang for your buck. And it's usually almost the most profitable craft, uh, not necessarily the profit per hour. And on the med station, uh, it's technically Propitals or SJ6s, unless you have a non-found and raid power bank. Um, now they're worth about 13,000 if they're non found in raid, but you can use them to craft defibs. This will net you about 30K in total profit, but the craft will run for several hours. And you can even bump that up if you do better on your wires and magnets and things like that. Now, if you have a found in raid power bank, don't use it to craft it. You should just sell it on the flea market. It's worth way more there than anywhere else in crafting, except maybe with the green battery. Now, as these come back down and we get them back into the teens, you know, 15, 16, maybe 18K, the, uh, the, the uh, power banks, maybe this defib will come back into a, a profitable craft, which hopefully it will because it's it's one of the really only long crafts in the, the med station that'll make you money. Now over the nutrition unit, the, the top craft here is a really easy one. It's just condensed milk. It'll make you about 7K an hour or 10K in total for the profit. And you do that if you eat your milk under 15K and your sugar's under 22K. Now this isn't gonna last for very long because sugars have already started to climb up. So take advantage of it while you can. And then you just vendor the uh, the condensed milks to therapist. Or if you're still struggling to get Jaeger leveled up, you can do it with him as well, though you don't make quite as much money. 
Now in the nutrition unit, there's a couple of crafts in here that are actually more profitable uh, than the condensed milk, but you need to drink the waters down. So if you have your water bottles, you know, your 6.6 .6 liter water bottles, if you drink those to one of 60 and then use those to craft whiskeys or max energies, you're gonna make a bunch of money. And that's just because you're using the water bottle to raise your hydration and that's where the cost is sunk at. And then you're using that one out of 60, essentially empty water bottle uh, to make a craft and turn a little bit of money back out of that, that purchase of that 12, 13,000 ruble water bottle. Now, a good alternate craft in here is slickers. I'm crafting slickers quite a bit. I really shop and try to get my uh, cereal cheap, the oat flakes. I try to get them for under 15K if you can. Uh, and same thing with the, the crackers. I'll try to take those out of raid. Um, but even if you're spending 14K on them, you're gonna do okay. And then try to get your chocolate for about 22K or less. The key here is that I don't sell the slickers. I turn them into scab vests for a craft we'll talk about in the laboratory. And that barter is with Jaeger uh, loyalty level one, so everybody can do it. And if you're buying scav vests, you're doing it wrong. Now we're at the stage of the wipe right now where the water collector and the booze generator are just money printers. And this is a product of not everybody having it. You know, only a small portion of people have them. So there's more demand than there is supply. And what you end up with is really expensive water, really expensive moonshine, and a lot of profit in between for you. So keep in mind that your filter only uses 66%, but filters are only selling for like 16 to 20 to 25K, and you're selling super waters for like 180, 190K uh, on the high end, maybe 150 on the low end. And that's more than enough right there to pay for your fuel for your whole hideout, which means that's why I get into not worrying about fuel because the water collector alone pays for everything. Now the booze generator is still making pretty good money, even though uh, super waters have gotten expensive. You're still able to make about 30K here. The key is to get your sugars under about 23K, buy your 180K or less super water, and it'll make you about 10K an hour. Now I don't suggest sitting on these anymore. Earlier, I was crafting a bunch and sitting on them because uh, I was crafting for about 180K back when everything was really cheap. It is really, it, this isn't gonna last long because as more and more people unlock moonshine and start crafting it, the price is gonna start to slowly trickle down and get cheaper and cheaper. So for me, I craft these and maybe get two or three of them and then sell them in stacks of two or three and then just move on. We'll do a real quick talk here about the Intel Center. Um, it's a really long craft, so it's not a profit per hour deal. It's just pure profit. The two highest profit per craft right now are the uh, Intel and the VPX, but don't pass up on the secured thumb drives because they craft about half the period of time that those do. So you can craft two of those in the time that you can craft some of the, the, the VPX and make a little bit more money with the thumb drives than you can the VPX. But if you don't want to worry about that, if you just want to craft one thing that takes a long time and not think about it, uh, Intels and VPXs are your way to go. Now, just a real quick blurb here about the scav case. Um, still doing a bunch of research about this, trying to pin down hard numbers. This is based on personal experience and keep that in mind as random luck. This is just pure gambling. From what we see from most people and what we talk about in the Discord is that if you want uh, rare items, you know, stims, quest items, uh, good armors, streamer items, things like that, run moonshine. Where you're gonna get most of your big ticket items, though that doesn't matter now because a lot of them are banned on the flea market. But if you're gonna use them, it's a way to get things like he uh, hex grids and slicks, uh, some good helmets, guns, things like that that you can't buy on the flea market. If you're looking for keys, um, as well as rare items, you'll get it to run Intel, but that's the point of Intel is to get keys out of it. So maybe if you think you're gonna get lucky and get a labs key card or the Marin key or the cottage key or any of the new lighthouse keys, uh, Intel is gonna be your way to get them. And then after that is just running the 95K. You know, some people don't wanna run that. They wanna run the cheaper ones. Um, once I get done with Moonshine, I will switch to running 95K and just run that over and over again. And it works out for me every wipe. But that's pretty much it on the scab case. We won't get in any more detail there. All right, so the laboratory. Uh, this was the craft I was talking about, the slickers, where you can make ripstop, and it's with three scav vests. So I use my slickers, I get three scav vests from Jaeger, I turn that into ripstop. Figuring about 9K on the slickers, because that, that's what it costs if you're buying them or selling them. You're gonna make about 15K an hour in profit or 10K per craft. And when I get like six, eight of the ripstops, I'll try to sell them for like 22, 23K. Sometimes it's as low as 21, but they make decent money no matter what. After that is the Cordura craft. It's just buying four of these bags, uh, to about 2,000 a piece. Uh, you turn those into Cordura and then you sell that. It'll make you about 12K an hour or 10K per, uh, per, per craft. So if you just want two easy crafts, you can cycle between the Ripstop and the Cordura and then sell those and you don't have much to think about. Now, there are a couple of crafts in here worth mentioning, again, with used waters. If you're not using them in your nutrition unit, uh, you can use used waters in here to make shampoo and make a bunch of money or scav backpacks. With a used water, which means it doesn't cost anything and you're buying your, your soap at, let's say, 12K, you're going to make about 31K an hour with a shampoo or about 19K total profit per craft. 
And then the scav backpacks net you about 16K an hour or about 14K in total profit when you profit when you sell both bags. To do this, you gotta get your fleece for about 10K and get your embusses for less than 11, which you can do with barters or usually find them on the market for that cheap. Now, the last one I wanna mention is the long craft. Uh, right now, scab junk boxes and grenade cases are pretty rough because of the metal parts uh, prices. But the mag case can make you really good money. Right now, I'm only using blue fuels. I buy them off the flea market or if I get them in raid, whatever, I throw them in my generator, I burn them down to zero, and then I use those zero out of 60 uh, blue fuel cans and I craft mag boxes. If you're doing this, it's gonna make you about 100, 110K in profit. You just gotta get your scissors for about 16K, your bolts for less than 30K, and your nuts for less than 14K. But again, you've gotta use up those used fuel cans. If you're buying them, uh, you're actually gonna lose money because they're, they're running about 80K a piece right now. Uh, so that completely, eats away your profits all right guys a little bit of a jarring change here uh i sound like shit because i had a cold and we're reshooting because a bunch of stuff changed from when we originally shot it in the workbench we didn't get it done uh before the changes happened so now we got to go do some changes and you got to listen to my crappy voice as implied the workbench is really volatile so instead of just giving you one craft i'm going to give you five uh those are going to be ordered and best to worst uh but it gives you other options in case one falls off things change whatever so the first one's going to be circuit boards this will net you about 30k an hour you need to get your screwdrivers and your dvds both for about 8k a piece then shoot for an 18k sell on your circuit boards and this will be the best craft uh, in the whole workbench after this is vog 25s and this will net you about 25k an hour again pretty simple to remember get your fuses and grenades both for less than 11k and then shoot for over a 22k sell price on the grenades themselves now right behind this is wires and this is the go-to craft for the whole wipe if you don't know what to craft just buy some power cords and craft some wires but right now you should aim to get your power cords for like 15 uh 15k or less if you can and then sell your wires for 10k now that means you might have to sell for 9998 or 95 or whatever it is if you see hundreds of listings of wires at, at 10k itself if you do all this it'll net you right around 22k an hour Next up is Nixers, uh, and these will net you about 17K an hour. Be careful though, these are falling and they're gonna continue to fall. They're not gonna be good for very much longer, but I wanna bring them up. The key to this is buying your cameras from Mechanic. Uh, you have to have informed means armed, uh, accepted from Skier, then they unlock them for Mechanic. You can buy them for 310 euros, which is about 45,000 rubles. Get your Plex for 11K or less, and then shoot for 55K or more on the sell of your Nixers, and you'll hit that 17K per hour mark. Uh, these are only gonna be good for as long as Nixers are above like 50K, 45K. Once you see them get below that regularly, I'd stop crafting this. Now, kind of the same story uh, is green batteries. Great craft right now, but they are falling and they're falling fast. They'll make you about 16K an hour, which with as long as the craft is, is not too bad considering it makes you about 80K. You gotta get your round pliers, the uh, little red ones, for 6.5K or less, the USBs for 7.5K or less, rechargeable batteries for 11K or less, or just get them out of raid like I do. Power banks for 32K or less. Uh, really good use for power banks if you die with them and you're in your secure container. I'll always swap out a serve kit or a CMS for a power bank uh, because if you craft with them, it's that's so much more value than just what they sell to the vendor. Once they're crafted, shoot for about 260K on the sell price. I know right now they're a little bit higher as a shooting this video, but they're falling fast. I set a 260 limit to get these numbers right here. Uh, they will continue to be okay until the green batteries are selling about 220, 230. And that's when you wanna stop crafting. Now for long crafts, aside from the green battery craft, which is a good one, um, you can do rip ammo. This will net you about 70 to 75K in profit, runs about five hours. Just get your reds for less than 27K, buy your wires for 8K or less, and then sell the rip ammo for 800 or more. And sometimes you can do a lot better. Sometimes you can push 900, 950, and you'll be making that much more money if you do it. Now, the longest possible craft, like if you're just looking to craft for the longest period of time because you're worried about hideout skills that you can still make money with is the 366 AP craft. You buy the ammo uh, from vendors, so that price is fixed. I guess if you can get SP6 out of raid, great. It's a great use for it. Uh, but try to buy your uh, Kite Gunpowder, the blue one, for less than 11K, and then shoot for 950 rubles or more for your 366 AP. With that, we're 
caught everything back up to date in this video and we can go back to the normal non sick sounding me. So again, sorry for that, but we wanted to get the information right. So for those of you that hung around this long, I hope you got a bunch out of it. I hope you're gonna be able to make a bunch of money with this. I do, I craft constantly, I'm always crafting. It's one of the more enjoyable side of the games for me. Uh, and I like finding stuff for you guys. So thanks for watching. You know, don't forget to drop that, uh, that subscribe or that like for the video if you haven't already. It helps out the channel a bunch. And check me out on Twitch if you wanna come by. I'm always happy to answer questions about crafting and going through stuff there, uh, even when I'm playing and streaming. So again, thanks for watching. Wish you the best of luck and we'll see you in Tarkov.